Hi everyone! So this is the third video on the video series on the Taglish version of writing research paper. And this is the research gap. The research gap is the connection between move 1 and move 3. And as pre previously mentioned, we are using the three rhetorical moves of swales. The first move na, that we have discussed is establishing the research identity. So you can check yung previous video sa maraming examples for on how to establish the research identity. So once you are done with move one, you can now do the gap analysis. Sa gap analysis, uh, you are looking for ano ba yung mga hindi pa nagawa ng mga published research paper. And which is why it is called establishing a niche or butas in Tagalog. That is move two. And establishing a niche also pertains to the research gap. Ano ba yung mga nawawala? So, paano natin siya ginagawa? So, move to establishing research gap. You have to state what has not been done and has not been considered yet by the cited published researches. So, since sa move 1 ninyo, marami kayong mga citations sa introduction ninyo, background of the problem, review of related the literature, and then theoretical background. And dun sa research gap analysis, you have to specify ano yung mga hindi pa nagawa. So, for example, you can present this in this way. So, pwede nyong sabihin sa first part ng paragraph ninyo sa research gap, the aforementioned discussion regarding OB and EL presents that the interplay between the two has advantages. And then, pwede nyo na siyang i-elaborate. Magbigay din kayo ng mga enough citations para siyang sinasummarize ninyo ano ba yung na-discuss ninyo sa move 1. And then, you can transition or you can use a transitional sentence like this one. As observed, plagiarism normally happens because students procrastinate and crams that leads to either a sloppy paper or late submission. Okay, so ito na yung research gap. You have to state ano yung nawawala. However, there seem to be limited studies addressing these three problems. So actually, yung research gap, it's just a one sentence stating ano yung hindi nagawa ng mga previous study. And then you can transition to, uh, thus, this, aim, this, this study aims to address the following altogether, plagiarized work, sloppy paper, and late submission. Okay. So let's have another example. As presented in the following literature review section, many research studies have investiga investigated the usage of Facebook, the effect of teacher self-disclosure via Facebook on teacher-student relationship, and the academic per performance of Facebook user. So in just one sentence, you were able to summarize ano yung naisulat nyo nung sa move one. At ito na yung research gap. However, few studies have examined if and how Facebook can be effectively used as an LMS. One sentence, you were able to present the research gap. So I will be giving you a sample research gap transitional phrases na pwede nyong gamitin. So for example, however, little information, at little attention, work, data research. Next, however, few studies, investigation, researches, attempts. Okay. Next, transitional phases na pwede nyo din gamitin. The aforementioned studies have tended to focus on rather than on. These previous studies have emphasized as opposed to Although considerable research has been devoted to, rather less attention has been paid to. So marami kayong pwedeng mga transitional phrases na magagamit to present your research gap. Last three example. The previous research has concentrated on, most studies have been content to, and last, so far, investigations have been confined to. Okay. The next thing that you have to do to establish this research gap is to present specific variables to be considered that will lead you in finalizing your research questions. So ito ding mga variables na to, this will help you na mabigay at ma-establish talaga yung identity ng paper ninyo. Kasi ito nga yung mga variables na hindi pa na-considered ng previous researches. For example, 
The Facebook group was used in an LMS to post announcements, share resources, organize weekly tutorial session, and conduct online discussion. So, yung mga new variables na ginamit is, ginamit nila yung Facebook as posting announcements. So, they have to investigate on that particular variable, share resources, next variable, organize weekly tutorial session, and the last variable is conduct online discussion. Next example, the omission of key covariates such as premarital risk factors and the degree of counseling exposure additionally precluded the entangling of mechanisms by which covenant status might influence marital outcomes. The current study rectifies these shortcomings. So in this way, nauna muna yung mga new variables na gustong gamitin ng study before they presented the research gap. So Yung research gap dito is implied. That is the last sentence. The current study rectifies the shortcomings. Okay, so what are the new variables? Premarital risk factors and the degree counseling exposure. Okay, next example. Because the consequences can sometimes be quite devastating or hostile, it is worthwhile to develop a deeper understanding of ghosting, its incidents and factors related to its use. So, implied na din doon yung research gap. At ang mga new variables na gustong investigate ng paper, ghosting, its incidents, and factors. Okay. To recap, how to establish research gap, that is move to number one, state what has not been done and has not been considered yet by the cited published researches. And second, present specific variables to be considered that will lead to finalizing your research questions. Okay, so these are the references I used in the examples. So you can check the next video or the previous video for the next video that is occupying the research gap. So to support this channel, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Kambatene!